The Seneca Falls Convention of 1848 took place in New York and it had hundreds of men and women. It was the very first women's right convention in the U.S. and its purpose was to discuss the social, civil, and religious condition and rights of women. It was organized by women so that women can have their rights. The Seneca Falls Convention was an event that triggered and solidified the women's right movement in America. This was the first wave of fem feminism in the U.S. and started the fight for women's suffrage. The significance of the overall convention was that it was the first time women were starting to make a difference in women's rights. NAWSA stands for National American Women's Suffrage Association. It was a congressional committee in Washington, D.C. It was created by Alice Paul. She was a well-educated Quaker woman working and studying in England in 1907. She became interested in the issues of women's suffrage. Her tactics were seen as too extreme for NAWSA's leadership in the Congressional Union split from NAWSA in 1914. A few other people who were key members were Emily Pankhurst and her daughters who were causing controversy throughout England with their militant tactics to secure the vote for women. The NWP or the National Women's Party was founded by Alice Paul and Lucy Burns on June 5th, 1916 to advocate for a new amendment that would let women vote. She started to focus on the fight for suffrage in the U.S. after returning from England and realized there needed to be an amendment to the Constitution rather than states or counties passing laws for women's suffrage. She joined the NAWSA and became head of its Congressional Committee in D.C. and formed a larger organization, the Congressional Union for Women's Suffrage, in 1913. Paul was seen as too radical for the NAWSA, so the Congressional Union split and became the National Women's Party. In 1920, the 19th Amendment passed, and in 1922, Paul reorganized the NWP to now focus on getting rid of discrimination towards women. Her final leg legacy is her proposed amendment that would end all discrimination towards women and would end all legal distinctions between men and women and divorces, employment, etc., but it has never been passed. The first woman to be elected to Congress was Jeanette Rankin. She was the first Congresswoman and she helped to pass the 19th Amendment. She successfully fought for suffrage in Washington State and Montana, where she was infamous for her social activism. She was then elected to the House of Reps and then Congress. She started as a biology major and taught, but she decided to pursue other things and found a calling to be an activist for women's suffrage. Her brother, who was politically well-connected, and her reputation for being a suffragist helped her run for the House of Representatives, where she was eventually elected in 1916, which was miraculous at the time, considering that women could not even vote. When the U.S. went into World War I, the American women were forced to change roles and take over the jobs of the men to keep the country running. This showed that the women were able to handle themselves and were a useful part of society. The women argued that it was hypocritical how America could fight for democracy and freedom in other countries, but not practice it at home by letting women vote.